and he said, the best of all people will be in the sham. And the ones who will rise against them will be in the sham. He even said, Anta fi ribatim ma dumta fi sham. You are in a, in a, in a, um, you are standing guard as if you are in a war, standing guard until the last hour, so long as you are in the sham, meaning the sham will never cease from battles or from always standing guard, will always be at risk in a sham. I went and lived in Lebanon for four years only, and this was the most peaceful time in the 19, early 90s. And in that time, two potential wars happened, potential. Two things happened over there that were potentially going to return back the civil war. And it was always at an unrest. People are expecting anything to happen any day. From ever since we know a sham, it's been like that. Wars have passed through there and battles. It's not because it's, it's a bad country, a'udhu billah. It is actually a blessed place. But look, the good and evil always fight. And the good and evil will keep on combating to the last hour. This, this land, the sham, has the good in it. Now it's mixed. But the good will always be in a sham and the evil will always be fighting it. Wherever the good is, the, the evil is fighting it. Wherever the evil is, the good is fighting it. Abadan. And Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi told us, As-sira bayn al-haqq wal batil The combat between truth and false will always be there till the last hour. And the false will always be a little bit ahead. Why? Because the truth will beat the false, then another false will come. It's easy to make up false things. But the truth remains the truth. It never changes, never adds, never diminishes. So in a sham, you're always in battle. And Rasulullah told us in those days, the best of all believers will be in that place. The best of all of them will be in that place. Rasulullah asked Allah to barak in a sham, to bless a sham and its people. And over there, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, will be these battles. There will also be a group of people who are also in the sham, and Rasul Sallallahu spoke about them in particular. And we don't know their names or their, their, their exact nationality, but we know where they're situated. Our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi told us in the Sahih Hadith, there will come a time, he's telling this to his companions, where there will be a group of believers who will be on the truth. They will have learned the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu very well. They would have digested it and taught their children well. So they live the life of Islam, even though the odds are all against them from everywhere. But they live it, even if it's only a small amount of them. He said, the people will gather against them and they will keep on fighting and protecting the symbols of Islam and the truth and justice. He said, Wallahi, one of their martyrs, one of their martyrs is better than 50 of yours, of the companions. They said, Ya Rasulullah, uh, who are these people, yani, and why? Why is this the case? He said, لِأَنَّكُمْ تَجِدُونَ أَعْوَانَ وَلَا يَجِدُونَ You, Alhamdulillah, you fight and you, your war is amazing and your, your, your martyrdom is amazing and you fight for justice and uh, protect the innocent and all your blood and everything. However, you have helpers. You've got helpers now. You've got supporters, Muslims supporting one another. But them, when their time comes, they will look everywhere and they will find no helpers. Their brothers will desert them, their Muslim brothers will desert them, the countries will desert them, the leaders will not help them, and they are only on their own. They said, Ya Rasulullah, where are they found? He said, in those days, they'll be ala aknafi bayt al-maqdis, or bi aknafi bayt al-maqdis, on the outskirts or the borders of Jerusalem. They're there. Are they there now? Probably. Will they be there more later on? Allahu alam, maybe. But to the best of my guess is that they are there now. Now fighting, protecting. And they are not really known or heard about in the media because we know what the media is all about. 
changing false into truth and truth into false. As they suit. Whoever's in power. So this is what's going on in there. Rasul Sallallahu told us about. He even told us the truth is the false and the false becomes the truth and the leaders are the ones who betray and the leaders are the ones who don't, are not qualified and the people who are placed in leadership and responsibility are the ones not qualified for the responsibility. The people who are qualified and the true leaders are put backwards, meaning they're put underneath these betrayers and these unqualified people. As he said, إِذَا وُسِّدَتِ الْأَمَانَةُ إِلَىٰ غَيْرِ أَهْلِهَا فَارْتَقِبِ السَّاعَةِ Rasul Sallallahu said, When the trust or the responsibility is given to people who are not qualified for it, then wait for the last hour to come. Meaning, await for it. It's very soon. Very soon. 